Hello, garden lovers. What incredibly beautiful weather we're having here in Southern California. We even had some mid 80s a few days ago. Lots of fun going on in the garden and in this video, we will be sharing what we are planting and growing in April. If you love gardens and gardening, hit the subscribe button and bell to be notified for lots of garden inspiration videos and visit us at southerncaliforniagardening.net. We recently posted Grow Food That Gives Year After Year and we'll be adding more content week after week to help garden lovers that live in a hot deserty climate grow food year round. Plus, we will be having giveaways, so make sure to sign up at Let's Stay Connected. All right, this month we are direct sowing watermelon seeds and we are starting some in containers for transplanting, same as we did with our cantaloupe. In case we encounter grubs in the soil, we're still transplanting strawberry plants. This is a strawberry patch and it's also gonna be our watermelon patch where we are growing crimson sweet, sugar baby, of course. This one is a sugar baby bush by Baker Creek. We got this variety very late in the season last year and it still put out fruit. And Kaho, it's a mini melon, a rare heirloom from Japan. We got these seeds sowed on the 8th, so sprouts should be popping up any day. And we will succession plant and get some more seeded in about six weeks. We have some good soil in this area, but we are topping it off with a mixture of Edna's Best and some compost. Plus, once the plants start growing, we will give them a compost water a couple times throughout the growing season to make sure that they have all the nutrients they need to produce nice, delicious melons. I keep looking over at the pea trellis because the little buddy is over there picking himself some peas. And we are planting our potatoes now that the frost is behind us. In our last video, 10 February garden tasks, we ordered our seed potatoes from Urban Farmer those were the Magic Molly and Territorial Seeds, Purple Majesty. They arrived a few days ago, so now we're prepping the containers. With a bone meal mixture, we got them placed about four inches in the container and topped them off with some soil. We love growing Magic Molly. These potatoes are super delicious. We love growing nutrient-dense food, and these potatoes are packed full of antioxidants since they are dark purple. Although the seed potatoes did look different this time. We grow our potatoes in containers buried in the ground. This helps them stay cooler and retain moisture. If the containers were above ground due to our hot dry climate, they would dry out pretty quickly. And one of my favorite parts of the spring growing season we are starting to move our tomato plants out to their final growing locations. We have sun gold growing on each side of the arch. It is going to be so fun to watch them cover the arch with delicious gold, beautiful tomatoes. So now we're good to start moving out the rest of our tomato plants out of the greenhouse. We had our last very low temps. 36 degrees last week. A little later than normal this year, but things change year after year. Notice the purple tint on the stem of this new girl tomato plant. That is a sign of stress, but now that the temperatures are warming up and as long as they get all the nutrients that they need, they will be fine. These tomato plants will get planted next to a trellis in a few different raised beds. And this year, we're also letting some beefsteaks grow wild. Last season, a Cherokee purple popped up under this avocado tree. We let it grow wild and got some huge, delicious tomatoes off of it. This month, we are planting more artichokes. We have some beautiful artichoke plants growing with some artichokes starting. 
Here is a globe artichoke just about ready to harvest. It will be our first one of the season. We are also growing Red Star by Baker Creek and this is Purple Italian Globe which is more tender and more succulent than the typical green varieties. And we are having to plant some more artichoke plants because we have had whole artichoke plants taken out by gophers. It's pretty crazy. They just pull the whole plant down into their tunnel. But we now have a guaranteed way to catch gophers. So we shouldn't have an issue with our artichoke plants down the road. More to come on how we catch these little turkeys in a future video. So the key to planting artichoke plants is making sure they get lots of organic matter. We have lots of compost in this area and we will be feeding them with a compost tea throughout the growing season. Also, they do not like their roots disturbed. So if you buy some from a local nursery and there are two per cell, then just cut one of them out and don't attempt to separate. In last month's video, we showed that we were starting cucumbers in our greenhouse. And now that the very low temps are behind us, it's time to transplant those cucumber plants. We will also be direct sowing, succession planting cucumbers over the next several months. And for some of our favorite varieties, check our last video, 10 March Garden Tasks. Also this month, we are starting more lettuce. It's time to start more heat tolerant varieties since the hotter temps are just around the corner. Some varieties that we are starting now are Red Cross, Green Star, New Red Fire, Merlot, Lennox, Marvel of Four Seasons, and Sierra. Also, Little Gem and Romaine varieties do better in warmer temperatures. We have seen 100 degree weather in June before. Obviously, that's not typical June weather, but we will see plenty of upper 80s and even some low 90s. We also like to go around to a few areas and sprinkle out some of this all-star gourmet lettuce mix. Here we have this blueberry bush growing in this beautiful whiskey barrel. We sprinkled out some seeds and we have some beautiful cut and grow lettuce. Lettuce roots are fairly shallow, so they will not disturb the blueberry bush. And this month we are direct sowing some carrot seeds. Look at these incredible varieties. Packed full of antioxidants and incredibly beautiful. This time of year, the seeds will germinate without issue since the weather is nice and cool and we've got quite a bit of moisture in the air. But if you're growing in an area where it's already pretty warm and dry, check out this video in the upper right hand corner showing a great germination trick. And we are starting natural sweet in cells and then we'll get them transplanted early May. We would prefer to direct sow the seeds, but the pill bugs attack the young seedlings right when they pop up out of the soil. Corn grows so fast this way, they can't do much damage. I love growing corn. My dad says, if you really want to feel like you accomplished growing something, grow some corn because it grows so fast. We are also starting some fun varieties like astronomy and painted mountain. Super beautiful ears of corn. And we started some more bunching onions. Here we have Guardsman and Apache. We like to succession plant our bunching onions so that we have them year round in the garden. All right, that's it for now. For more short videos on how to grow food in a hot deserty climate, hit the subscribe button. And remember, something doesn't come from nothing. I hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden.